contest response video from my friend. Boy, I enjoy greatly. I believe we share a lot in common. Not only just the sports stuff, but life in general. Oh, uh, Tommy. Tommy, boy. Asex Deuce 90. Little contest he's got rolling on now, I think, until next Wednesday, the 19th of March. Uh, once you give, like, your bucket list stuff that either is A, obtainable, or B, unobtainable, autos. Uh, and I'll get to the second part of the contest after I roll through that, because I wrote that down. Right over in this general area. And uh, this stuff is out for a reason. Believe me. Baseball. And again, this I'm, there's more people I want to get, but... These are guys that popped in my head. Superstars, not superstars. Uh, that's... You see who I collect, it doesn't matter. Base or I'll go miscellaneous, not non-sport first. Uh, there's gonna be some names that probably offend people in here. That's all right. Your assholes need cream the most, so I've got some Avino uh, cream that you can have. Non-sport: Jeffrey Dahmer, David Koresh, Ted Bundy, Chris Farley, George Carlin, and Hitler. They are all, in one way, shape, or form, some controversial people. All had demons, obviously. It'd be interesting to just have autos of all these people, four of the which are notorious, quote-unquote, evil guys. Or they're not, unquote, I mean, they are evil. But again, it's just, oh, the Koresh and Dahmer, those were when I was, what... 10, 11, 12, in that range, and I was just, it's, it's fascinating, because I like the psychological point of view, which you can actually try to, I don't know, put together why these people would do what they've done, so, Hitler, again, another guy that's just, interesting isn't the right word, because everybody will get offended, but again, he, it's just, somebody in a part of world history that I'd like to get an auto of, besides a lot of other people out there. I mean, presidents from times gone by, not really. World War II veterans from America, I really want to get as many as o of those as I can, but running into the roadblock we within this day of age, in this day and age of fraud, a lot of them are... I got a buddy that works with them, and uh, he just... He said, yeah, I'd love to do it, but I, he's hesitant, hesitant to ask just because of fraud and people, well, I don't know what they're going to do. I'm like, I, again, I get it. It'd just be nice to have like a little index card, the person's name, what company they were in, their their military rank and whatever. Um, miscellaneous, as I'm nearly four minutes in, just babbling. Four minutes in, babbling. Miscellaneous. Mark Munoz. I do not have an auto of him yet. And the next five will be in probably impossible to get. Dino Bravo, Ravishing Rick Rude, Kurt Hennig, Bruiser Brody, and Mike Awesome. All wrestlers, minus Mark Munoz. All wrestlers that have long since passed away. Brody was the first, I think, in 89. Awesome was in 0... Seven, eight, six, seven, eight. Hockey. Gretzky, Madano, Herb Brooks, coach of the eighty USA team, Minnesota legend, an absolute legend here. <clears throat> I was traveling to the cities the weekend he died in a car crash down there. So every time I go driving to the cities, which hasn't been a lot in the last couple of years, but over the past few months, a couple times, that I always think of him for just that reason. Uh, just an icon here, an absolute 
again, icon isn't the strong enough word. I mean, he's just revered. Um, Lunani, who does the the hockey games, the high school hockey tournament here in Minnesota, would be another guy I'd like to just get a picture with, just shake his hand, say thank you for how many years of just entertainment. <clears throat> um. Football. There, there really isn't many out there. It's not like I'd like to get a Jack Lambert auto. I'd love that. But at the same time, I'm not going to go and pursue one to just say, oh, I've got one. Because I don't have, like, Hall of Fame collections. I just don't. This collect My collections may be deemed Hall of Fame worthy in size and effort, but not of Hall of Fame players. Uh, Marino, I'd like to get one because I actually do have the collection of him from 93, 92 stuff to about 98, 99. So there are some autos in there and I'll get one one day. Stan Humphreys, the old Chargers backup quarterback. Um, Dennis Bird, Jet. Uh, Otley, Mike Otley, I can't, I was going to say, I couldn't remember him before but it just came to me. And Junior Sale. I'd love to get a Sale auto because I'm a fucking huge Charger fan. And he's obviously no longer with us. Basketball. I'd like to get a Fab Five auto because they were so big when, again, I was ridiculously into basketball. I've got a, the Mitch Album book about them. Uh, John Concack. And no, that's not a play on Concock. That's uh, the old Atlanta Hawks Center. I love that team from 88, 89, 90 maybe. Dominique, Spud, Doc Rivers, um, Concac. I know there's like three more players I should know off that team. And I can't think of them. Oh, when they were on TBS all the time. TBS and WGN were the huge stations to watch of the quote-unquote syndicated that you had. That's when TBS had Braves baseball. They had uh, Hawks basketball like, all the time. Not just a couple games a year. All the time. Same with WGN and uh, Cubs baseball. Watch that religiously. I'm not a big Cubs fan. I will cheer them, but I like them more reminiscing about Jerome Walton, Hector Villanueva, uh, I wouldn't even say Maddox, Grace, love Sean Dunstan, Walton, 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 Jerome Walton, that's all I remember, because that's all I was about. And then uh, Shaq, love to get a Shaq auto, an early auto, or a one with the magic. And I, there, again, there aren't many, I don't believe, out there from when I'm collecting Shaq, from his rookie year 92 to about, what, 96? 96, 97, whenever I get dealt over to uh, the Lakers. Baseball. Two, one easy one, one good luck in my lifetime, and then uh, one that it's obtainable, but it's going to be expensive. Bob Gibson is the first one. Um, I love him. I think he was, him, him and, uh, him, Walter Johnson, Christy Matheson. Matheson, that, those three pitchers are just, they should be in a category by themselves. I know no one Ryan, but he had longevity. He pitched for 40 years. Rocket, we all know where some of that stuff went. Colfax is another one I, I think is just a, <clears throat> a god. A god amongst mortals. But Gibson... In his prime, Walter Johnson, basically his whole career, and Sam Matheson, unreal. Bob Feller would be another one. He's got enough out there, and I had to shake his hand and meet him in a Twins Fest in 2009, I believe it was, 2010? 10. And uh, that was great. I wish I got, got a picture with him, but I'm, I'm going to live. Uh, Ricky Henderson. I'd like one in an A's uniform. The only bad part, I want to get something with him. Dave Henderson, Dave Stewart, Dave... St who else? 
Carney Lansford, Terry Steinbach, Maguire and Canseco all in like one poster. And Eckersley. That's not going to happen. Because a lot of them don't sign with each other or sign other stuff that's on there. So it may be tough to do. Steve Olin is the last one out of my bucket list. And we're at ten and a half minutes of me talking. He died. We're rolling up on it. You'll see something on Facebook when it's the, would it be 21 years since he's passed. Uh, spring training. Went on a boat with Bobby Ojeda, who I believe coach, coaches up in, coaches for the Mets now, or does radio or TV. And then him and Tim Cruz, all three of them. Cruz and Ojeda, more of the veteran type. Olin, the young pup. Just came off like a 30 save season. Indians were starting to roll. <clears throat> Loved them then. Because they had built everything up. They had such an awesome farm system. And they went out and ran into a dock. Because they were all buzzed up. Um, on a boat. Speeding on a boat. And Ojeda survived. Tim Cruz and Steve Olin didn't. That when I saw that on Sports Center because I came on later at night, I believe it was about ten, ten thirty that it came on. And again, this believe it or not, this was the time of no cell phones. Internet was in its infancy and nobody had heard of it yet. And to hear that on the news and the the old sports center music when you knew somebody died. That it just, I cried as hard as I've cried, I think. That and my dad's funeral. For those that those two are the times that, and then my uh, grandpa's a couple years ago, three years ago. That it just, because my mom and dad came running up, what happened, what happened? They watched and they knew how big a fan I was because I emulated his delivery. He was a sidewinder, a sidearm guy. And that's how I pitched in Little League. And it did. I did well with it, even though, oh, you can't do that. That's not the natural way. You have to be a robot and do everything the old school way. But if I could find an auto with him, I, I don't even know if, if I could track it back far enough. It, it's not going to happen just because there isn't enough stuff of his out there. I mean, that's like... I don't even know what that'd be equ uh, like equivalent of finding for someone else out in the community. Uh. But that, I guess that'd be my bucket list after 13 minutes. Uh. And, okay, here's part two. Anybody that's still watching out there, which 105% of you are not. One PC for life, for life, NWO life card that you would never get rid of one card and this you had let's say again Tom in his video said if there's struggles monumental struggles and strife economically that you need you need to part with everything what would you part with but what would be the one the one item card thing you'd keep out of it all it came down to two things for me one well first I guess what would I pick there's and you have so much stuff Choose from. You have so much stuff of one player to choose from. What do you pick? I mean, there's like a triple patch auto number to one.
And what is it? There's so much stuff to choose. In the end, you don't know. One of your sweet patch cards. I mean, what is it? You can only just choose one. This is your autograph baseball, the all-star game baseball. Is it a booklet that you didn't even remember you had? Number to five? Is it some Topps tribute autos that people have never seen, like the purple one of one? Or the gold ink black one of one? Something you, didn't, you just recently got in. When you have that much to choose from, what do you choose? I guess first would be not very well lighted over here. I'd probably keep the cleats. The game used 2000. 11 cleats. Maddie Niskanen. Bilal Powell. What if Jason? Foxy. Even the bat would probably go before the cleats. It's tough to see, I know. I apologize, and I know it's too late to apologize. But I guess in the end, when I choose for a card, it wouldn't be Forever I Love Atlanta. Come in here, it's a little, a little more bright with the. I don't know how I want to do this. I guess I'd choose this. I choo choo choose you. Out of ten. Uh, triple threads, whatever, 2010 or 11. Booklet. Johnson Strasburg. I would choose that, I guess. Not that I want to make choices like that. So if it wasn't that tight of a jam that something awful would have had to happen to get me to that point. So that is all. I hope I fulfilled your contest, Tom. Ciao, my boy! And hope you enjoy another nearly 20 minute video. If people don't, suck my dick. I don't care. So, take her easy, YouTube, and if she's easy, like the autos on this card, take her twice.